Hello all, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we shall discuss on uh, friend class in C++. In our previous video, we discussed on friend function using which we were able to access the private uh, data members uh, of the class. So uh, similarly in the friend class, so uh, like uh, say for example, we have a class and uh, we have some private data members and we have another class uh, and it has a function from which we want to access the private data members of the uh, no, previous class or the first class. So uh, to do this, uh, the friend class comes handy. So using friend class, uh, we will be able to access the uh, the uh, one of the other classes, uh, you know, private data members. So uh, let's see the syntax, how uh, we need to uh, use uh, the friend class. So it's very simple. So yeah, it is something like this. Uh, say for example, you have a class and you have some uh, private data members. Uh, say for example, int x, y. And uh, you have another class called uh, friend, maybe a uh, class friend itself. So, and uh, if you want, if you have a function in class friend, and from that class, if you want to access the private members, that is x and y, just you you need to add this syntax that is friend uh, class whatever is the class that from whatever is the class from uh, which you want to access the uh, this demo class uh, private data members. So let's uh, also. Uh, just see practically in the Visual Studio code. Okay, so let's uh, take a simple class here. Maybe class, uh, yeah, class one. Class one, and uh, we will add some private data members. Private and uh, maybe, uh, yeah, int i, maybe and also maybe some uh, yeah let's have a, a simple uh, private data variable data member and uh, let's create another class class 2 and uh, yeah in this class of course uh, we will have a function uh, yeah white form and from here we we will try to access the the private uh, data members so we will create a object of this uh, previous class that is uh, class 1 c1 and uh, yeah we will uh, try to print out this value or uh, we, uh, yeah we will try to assign some value firstly uh, that is c1 dot i uh, equals maybe 10 and we will try to print it out see out value is yeah that is uh, yeah c1 dot i whatever value will be gave that is 10 and del yeah so this is clear here from uh yeah from class 2 we try to access the private data members of class 1 here and of course to, we will in the main we will create an object of class uh, 2 actually maybe class 2 and uh, c2 now uh, yeah from this c2 we will try to call the uh, yeah func the function func so this is something like this and uh, yeah we will try to I think of course we missed I think a semicolon here we will add it I think apart from this everything looks good of course it will not uh, uh, it will have errors because we are trying to access the private data member of uh, the class so this is uh, which is not allowed in class two. we are we will not be able to access it so let's just try to run this yeah if you see here it is explicit it is telling here 
so sorry int i yeah one is like uh, not declared and and uh, it is telling is in is a private within this context so it is clearly indicating it here so to solve this what we do it's very simple here in the class uh, uh, one we will make it a friend class friend friend uh, what is that class class 2 so now class 2 becomes friend of class 1 now there is no problem it will uh, run uh, as expected so it will print out the value is uh, what is that 10 right yeah mm, g plus plus maybe and uh, sorry what is this uh, i think it is uh, let me save this first and uh, I think it is test yeah test.cpp enter yeah ex is created and uh, yeah I think it is a tab enter so if you see the value is 10 so now we were able to access the private data member of class one in the uh, uh, yeah function in class two. So this is clear here using friend uh, by making class two as friend of class one. So this was all regarding friend class. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.